Carla and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my dorm here at Ewat Women's University. I know that these videos can be super helpful, especially if you have no idea what to expect. For your reference, I do live in the I House dorms. I live in building A, which is connected to building B. There's also building C, but building C is kind of separate and right across building A and building B. So this will be a good reference for you if you're living in building A or building B. If you have any questions about the building or the dorm in general feel free to comment below and i will be very happy to answer any of your questions with that being said let's get started with the storm tour video i'm currently outside in the hallway right outside my dorm and this is what the hallway looks like i also have like a corner room so there's also like a balcony out there but this is what my door looks like and you also get a keypad so i will put that in right now So the first thing you'll see when you enter the room is like a closet. You'll also kind of see this little area here where you put your shoes. I don't have any shoes here right now because I have placed them in this closet right here. So this is what the closet looks like. There are two doors. I just have my shoes here. I also have my umbrellas here which I've placed on this hook. I haven't had any issues with like storage or anything like that while I've been here. But yeah, this is the shoe closet. We have also a mirror right here, which is super helpful if you want to see your outfit or anything like that. It's very long. <laughs> That's like really the only long mirror you'll get in this room. There's this like step up area, so you kind of have to step up. And then you take off your shoes here. Like I said, that's just common in Korean culture. You just take off your shoes right here before you step into the room. Over here to the left of the door, you actually have the bathroom. Right here, we have the lights and like ventilation. This one actually doesn't work. It like kind of burnt out halfway through the semester and I just haven't went to fix it. But I do have this light that does work. So it's been fine and it works really well so i just use that and then there's also this button which you can press here and then the ventilation turns on i don't know if you can hear it but i can you just turn this on like after you take a shower the floors are wet and everything is wet you just turn this on to kind of help your bathroom dry faster so right now i'm just going to turn it off because i don't need it right now so right outside the door i actually have this mat that i bought from daiso which was about maybe 3,000 won. And then this is the bathroom. I actually do have shower sandals here. It'll be really helpful if you can come to Korea with some shower sandals or slippers, but you can also buy them for a really cheap price as well at Daiso. You wanna use different slippers when you're showering here. When you're done with your shower, you could just take them off and wear like other slippers like these ones that I have on now. But here we just have like a big mirror. This is what everyone will usually get. I have my shampoo and conditioner over here. And then also just some other skincare stuff that I have organized in this little basket. I got this basket from Daiso as well. I also got this soap from Daiso and it was 3,000 won. I also have this shower filter from Daiso and I just actually connected it with the tools from the iHouse office, which is downstairs. They will lend you tools if you ask them for it. You just have to give them your ID. I just used their tools to put this in and then it's connected to the shower head. This is what the shower head looks like, connected to the sink. The way this works is when you first turn it on, you get water. If you want to turn this shower head on, you just have to pull this up and then water will start coming out from here. So I won't do that now because I don't want to wet myself. But yeah, that's just a good way to kind of show you guys what that looks like. And over here is just the toilet. They also have a storage cabinet here. I just have my shower cap. And then when you open this door it's just cleaning supplies for the bathroom so not much in there also have more cleaning supplies on this side and then also i do have this i know that this is used mostly for like cleaning windows in that sort of thing but i use it to clean my floors because when you shower the floor gets so wet so i end up using this to kind of push the water to one side and i push it to here where the water will go down there's also like a window here i think this is also for ventilation and to get your bathroom to dry faster right now it's closed but if i wanted to open it i just put it this way and then pull out oh my god that was so loud <laughs> but 
yeah if i want to close it you just do that and i will show you guys the rest of the dorm when you first step out of the bathroom i have like my fridge here and then my suitcases i put my laundry bag on top of my suitcase and then this is the fridge this is what mine looks like um so i don't have anything in the freezer but i have a few things on the bottom part so i have like face masks i have some water some yogurt some fruit and also some coffee i know some people do use the kitchen that's in building c i believe but i just don't do that so i just go out to eat with my friends and stuff like that right next to the fridge is another closet i pretty much use this for like my coats I have some extra sweaters up here there's also a mirror right here so you can use this to like check yourself out i have like these little stuff they're not really hooks but i just use them to hang some stuff so i have like my scarf here some masks these purses that i brought from home and then a cap from my home university over here is just like some extra stuff i have some extra toilet paper purse that i bought here from korea and just some like winter stuff like my hat and my gloves also got these hangers from daiso which is like where you're mostly going to get the majority of like the decorations or things for your dorm but that is the closet for you over here is my bed I ended up getting this pink mattress from Daiso as well. And then this blanket over here I actually got from the office, the iHouse office downstairs. I had to pay maybe 5000 or less for the blanket. I think I have to return it at the end of the semester. I also have this plushie which I bought here in Korea. It might have been the cacao store. It was really cute so I like had to get it. I also have this pillow here which was actually already here in the room when I first arrived. So got this like white sheet from the My House office as well. They give you sheets and then they also give you like one pillowcase right above the bed you will see more storage space i'll just show you guys what i have in here there's like not really much but i'll show you anyways in this cabinet i just have things that i brought from home cotton balls um lotion just extra stuff like that i also have like my extra contacts in there in the next cabinet i just have like some workout stuff I have this leg band, I have a jump rope, and I also have this duffel bag that I brought from home. And then up here is just the pillow that I used to also come to Korea um, when I was on the plane. And then over here on this side, I actually don't know what's in here. Oh yeah, it's actually my summer clothes. At first, I had my summer clothes over there in these little like drawers, but then I ended up moving them over here when it started getting colder. And then over here is my drawers. This is the drawer for the other bed, but since I don't have a roommate, I use them. And then I also have two more drawers right here in my bed. I actually do have some clothes here. It's just my long sleeves and things like that and any tops and then over here i have like dresses and skirts that i sometimes use during the winter and then over here on this side i just have like workout clothes and pajamas and over here i have like my jeans and things like that so it's really helpful that i don't have a roommate because i can use both sides of the room this is where my roommate would have been if I had one but now I just like place some of my stuff on it bags over there that I've kind of collected from like shopping just in case I need to use it for throwing out trash nothing really special over here on this side and then there's also these things right here which I'll just kind of briefly talk about these are just the light switches for the room and then I also have a balcony light but it actually does not work so that's unfortunate this is also like attenuator I think that's how you say it but it's basically I think you just like use this to adjust the volume of the intercom sometimes there will be like announcements that come from this little thing right here and then over here is just the heating system in korea the heating actually comes from the floor and then right next to this is actually the air conditioning for the room it's just to turn the temperature up or down but yeah that's really it for this side i also have my bags there which i've put on the hooks i also have hooks as well i didn't show you guys that before up here there's also more storage room for yourself or for your roommate depending on whether you're going to have a roommate or not i ended up using these as well since i don't have one and i just put like some extra bags in there over here i don't know what i put in here oh yeah so this is just like an extra white 
sheet that I got from my house office. This side, I just have nothing. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of storage in this dorm. There's also this closet over here, just like I had one. And to kind of just show you guys what I have in this closet, I also just have a mirror here, some hooks, but I actually don't use this really for clothes. I use this closet mostly for like cleaning supplies. Further down the room, I just have my desk and I actually use this desk to attend any Zoom classes. This is where I do most of my work. I just have my backpack here and the room also comes with this roller chair. Also just have some shelves here, have some paper plates, some chopsticks, plastic cup and some plates and some extra masks. I have some of my books over here. Pictures with my friends that I took here in Korea. Down here on the shelf, I just have like my wallet and my converters. The room will also come with like a phone. A few times the iHouse office has called me, maybe once or twice. Over here, I just have my little area. It's a little bit messy. It also comes with this cool lamp. I just use it really to turn on when I like I'm doing work late at night. The desk also comes with a few drawers. So you could just like use this for anything. This is just hold some of my books, schoolwork that I just placed in here. On the bottom part, it just, I, I don't know what I put in here. Yeah, just some like folders and things like that. So yeah, not much really. On the other side of the room is my desk, I guess, but I use both desks. There's just another trash can, rolly chair, and then this side of the room I use mostly for like getting ready when I'm going out. I have like some hair rolls, some Q-tips there, nail polish, and then over here I also have this basket that I got from Daiso. In it, I just have like lotion, stuff for my hair. I have my makeup bag there, my camera stuff, and some jewelry right there. There's also a window right over here and you can just use this to kind of pull down the blind if you wanted to. Over here, we also have another drawer. In the top drawer, I actually have like snacks and stuff like that. On the bottom drawer, I actually use this to put in like any medicine. And then that is pretty much it for this side of the room, I believe. This is the balcony window. You get a long like sliding door. It also comes with a screen, so you just also have to slide this over. And then you just have to watch your step when you're walking out because there's like a little step. This is the balcony, so there's like a little space. If you wanted to put a chair here, I guess you could too. And then this is the awesome view that I have been blessed with. So I get a view of the city. I'll try to zoom in. I don't know if you'll see much, but... This is the view, and it looks so gorgeous at night. Over there is the street. This is just the street right in front of the school. It did snow yesterday, by the way, so that's why you obviously see snow. It was my first snow in Korea, so I was very happy to witness that. But yeah, that is pretty much the view from my window. So I'm going to close this. It's really pretty out today, so I'm probably going to keep the door a little bit open. Alright guys, so I think that was the end of this dorm tour video. I hope that this video was super helpful to all of you who are planning to live in the dorms at iHouse. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!